We're going to show you today how to change out that water separating fuel filter to make sure that you don't get any water in your fuel system when you're running your outboard. Okay, on this particular bolt, the water separated fuel filter is located down in the transom and, and typically it's tied into the fuel line so that way it's separating any water that may be coming from the fuel tank. There's a sensor located on the bottom and we'll want to disconnect that sensor, put some rags down in the bottom here to catch any oil or gas that comes out of that filter, I should say. And then you may or may not need the uh, wrench to loosen that filter up. Uh, this one is able to bust loose with my hands, so we've got that loose. Now, what I wanna do is I'll slowly turn that off, to get it off the, the assembly, and then you wanna be real gingerly when you bring that out, okay? And what we have here is basically the old fuel filter with the sensor on it, and there's gas in here, so we're gonna dump that out. All right, so okay, we're gonna take out the sensor for the fuel filter. So you wanna take a 5 8 wrench and slowly loosen that up to remove it from this filter. All right, we'll take the wrench off there and we'll get it off the rest of the way. All right, there's the sensor. Now we're gonna put it into this fuel filter water separator. Take your Allen wrench here, and this is just a plug designed to keep this opening in the bottom of the fuel filter clean. So we wanna take that out like such. And then we wanna take this sensor and put it back into the fuel filter. Okay, now that we got the sensor back into the fuel filter, we'll put it back into the boat and connect everything up and we should be good to go. All right, before we install it, uh, like with any type of filter, especially with the O-ring, you wanna put a little bit of oil on that just so you get a nice seal, kind of keeps it clean. So we'll do that so then we're ready to install it. And the threads are fairly aggressive enough so you can start getting it onto the uh, hose and the assembly where that fill filter goes. So, And then you can either hand tighten it if you feel you have it nice and secure. Next time I go to replace it in 100 hours, it isn't uh, hard to get off, so. All right, now that everything's nice and secure, we gotta connect the sensor so it's operating correctly. All right, now that we got everything installed, we wanna follow the owner's manual in regards to getting fuel back into that fuel filter. And a lot of times all you need to do is turn the motor onto the on position without uh, starting the motor. That will activate, activate the fuel pumps. Fuel will start to go throughout the system, filling up that fuel filter, and then you're ready to go. It's a real easy process to change a lot of this stuff. And when you can do it yourself, you can put some more money back into your pocket.